Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtide Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. As always, there is a Spotify link down below uh, for all the songs in order there. We've got 31 songs to talk about. I already recorded this video and messed up the audio, so we're running it back because we're here to put out a good quality product. So here we go. We're starting in the bad category. And remember, just my opinions on stuff, just my opinions. We've got Troy Boy featuring Toxic Rob with Dunga. Uh, pretty crass trap with hints of Moomba, and it's just bland. And then we got Hypaton and David Guetta feeling good. Uh, a Big Room cumber cover of Nina Simone's iconic feeling good. Also, Michael Bublé did a cover of that. That's probably more popular. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling good about this one. Uh, that being said, it's far from David Guetta's worst as of late. You just got to stop making covers, buddy. Just make something new, please. Then we got Zavi with Spitfire. Sadly, the Zavi EP is out now, and uh, this title track, Spitfire, not feeling it. Uh, I'm typically a huge Zavi stan, but uh, this one just didn't, it felt like a significant downgrade to me. The vocals aren't as polished as Zavi normally has, uh, as he kind of fails to hit these like big sections or, or notes. And yeah, I thought the production was a bit of a drag with some flat mixing. It, it sounds like someone imitating Zavi rather than Zavi doing Zavi themselves. So. Sorry about that, but just not a fan of this new Zavi uh, track. But uh, yeah, now we got a moving into the meh category. That's what I'm trying to say. As we've got Mike Shift and Chikara with Thousand Miles again from the Thousand Miles EP. This is the title track we're talking about. Uh, production wise, uh, I really enjoyed where these two uh, took this track. I think it's fresh and I think the second drop goes hard, uh, but I can't get over how much I dislike the vocals. Um, Mike Shift and Chikara aren't well established artists, and you wouldn't really be able to tell a ton from the production. But you definitely can from the vocals here, uh, sadly. Yeah, I, I in the synth solo to kind of finish off the track was a bit of an odd choice too. But uh, yeah, I just think it's here in the meh category. Then we got Bear Grylls and Virus Syndicate with Fire at Will. Uh, both Virus's lyricism and Bear's production is pretty whatever here. It's definitely a very like a UK English style song, but I'm just not really feeling anything here. So. Then we got Morgan Page with Under Pressure, a bit of a hybrid between commercial and big room house, which doesn't really do it many favors. Um, I feel like the track is a little lost where it wants to go and what it wants to do. And um, yeah, I just didn't really uh, resonate with this one a whole ton. Then we got Bishu featuring Prop with Do or Die. Uh, first things first, I was not expecting and never expected to hear it's Jover in a song, but um, uh, here we are. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't mind the simplistic electropop production, but just find the vocals uh, and specifically the lyrics and the vocal delivery here to be a bit distracting, uh, taking me out of the song more than putting me into it. So it's going to land here in meh. Then we got John Summit with Eat the Bass. Uh, John Summit blasting some big room tech house was not what I expected from him, uh, considering he, how much he uh, loves and does progressive house. But um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's just fairly vanilla for him. Then we got S.G. Lewis and DJ Seinfeld with Simple Times. Uh, yeah, pretty typical house tune, all things considered. Was definitely expecting some more oomph from this collab. Uh, but in the end, I thought it was just, uh, yeah, a fairly linear, simple, typical house track. Then we've got the uh, Felix John remix of Lovers in a Past Life, originally by Calvin Harris and Rag and Bone Man. Uh, again, nothing too out of the ordinary about this track in particular, um, in this remix, I should say. It's a kind of a progressive trance mix of uh, the original with a very prominent kick, uh, and that's pretty much all it really is. They kind of just sped up the original song to like a 145, 150-ish BPM, and uh, that's kind of all that happened. It's just kind of a sped up with a heavier kick, so... They've got DJ Snake and Cranked At with Big Bang. Uh, this sounds like one would expect from a DJ Snake and Cranked At collaboration. Uh, but yeah, this is a big track for Cranked At as, he as he's potentially hitting the big leagues here. This is a potentially very career-defining moment for him, uh, considering how big of an artist DJ Snake is. But um, yeah, in the end, I thought it was a fairly commercialized dubstep cut that lost a lot of Cranked At's signature sound design, his mechanized, very abrasive sound design in favor of uh, yeah something that's a little bit more palatable for more people but um yeah and it's got this like, odd pseudo hard style second drop that i just didn't think worked then we've got slow palace with you'll find yourself uh, a linear track with uh, pretty much one long central movement and uh, one that's not overly all that too exciting in fact i think the mixing is a pretty messy all throughout too and so it kind of just is of a song i would say 
Then we got Roman Silver and Slack and Beach with Stay. Apparently, this is the end of Roman Silver as he goes on a bit of a hiatus for a while, which is very sad. Uh, and even sadder that I didn't really feel like I uh, loved this this kind of parting track a whole ton. Thought it was a fairly generic house cut that didn't really have that distinct Roman Silver charm. Those uh, really like bouncy bass lines uh, that I come to know and love from Roman Silver. But um, yeah, it's a nice track. It's chilled out. Good for background settings. Then we've got Fred again, Berwin, and Gesalfestein with Berwin Gassif Neighbors, which is a weird name for a track, but uh, even weirder that it's on the USB compilation that's been reissued again. Um, so I, I just guess this compilation is just a forever changing compilation. But um, yeah, this is very much a kind of UK underground Fred again track, which I feel like he's got kind of two styles right now. It's songs like this and Stay In It, and then songs like... Uh, Delilah, uh, that kind of have the more progressive house with the uplifting vocals here. But uh, yeah, I, that being said, the vocals, I think, had a, felt a bit uh, out of place and the production wasn't really doing a whole ton, but I thought it was not that bad. We've got Nightmare and Liquid Stranger featuring Mogleta with uh, Restless. Uh, there are two very different songs in this track. Uh, you've got the first half, which is some of Nightmare's best, most complex, unique, creative song tr part of work, whatever, in a long time. Uh, and then the back half, which is just empty dubstep, uh, empty bland dubstep. So I guess take your pick on which one you want to really listen to. Then we've got Kill the Noise, Trivecta, and Doctor with Feel the Vibe. Uh, an oddball track of sorts here. It's got the kind of more or less standard dubstep first drop from Kill the Noise, but the rest of the track is kind of all new territory. It's got these like half Jamaican, half like very Americanized vocal inflections with an odd amount of processing on them as well too, where they're like sort of half processed and not half processed and not stylized. And it's kind of just a bit weird. And it all ended with this minimalistic dubstep that was okay, but also I, I enjoyed some sections, and it was just, it was weird. It was just a weird track. Then we got Armin Van Buren and High Low with Now Love Will Begin, a huge collab of an uplifting techno track. Um, and while maybe on the shorter side, I do think it's got some oomph to it. Uh, and as of late, I think this is some of the better Armin and Oliver Helmdeds tracks. How Oliver Helmdeds is is High Low. Uh, and so, yeah, individually, I think this is some of their best stuff as of late, and I'm hoping for more of this style of song from uh, both of them personally. Then we got Dua Lipa with Illusion, the third single from her upcoming record. Uh, this is easily the weakest of the three, I must say, we've heard so far. Uh, the beat is a bit bland, and the lyricism is far from Dua's best. Um, I think it's a fine track. I just don't think it's single-worthy, personally. I think this is uh, middle to lower half of, like, a, a, an album cut. So, uh, not too bad, but I could have wanted some more, but... Then we got Papa Khan with Artificial Damnation, uh, melodic rhythm with a backing piano ballad that isn't overly complex, uh, but manages to work really well in tandem with one another. Uh, I was actually surprised how much I enjoyed this one. Then we've got the Eddie remix of Control, or Mind Control, originally by Jaws. Uh, Hard-hitting mid-tempo that is right up Eddie's alley. It doesn't hit quite as hard as the original, but I actually think that's a good thing because it sounds a lot more polished and cleaner than the original was, which I did not enjoy that much. So, I enjoyed this one, though. Then we got Hello World with Heart Peace, uh, Hello World's most chill track to date, I'm sure of it, uh, as it's very much this like intimate love ballad. Uh, it's very fascinating to hear a more down to earth kind of love song that has the, the little eight bit hits from Hello World, and these are like a very electronic sounding synths. Um, There's just a style I don't really hear a whole ton, and uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Then we got the You and Me remix, or the Vincent remix of You and Me, originally by Arm and Hammer and Hayleen. Uh, this is a bit of a bouncy track with some longer drops that I deeply appreciated, the longer sections for sure. Uh, I like that there was a pretty big mix-up of styles from one drop to the next, and I thought it was an interesting sound that I haven't heard a ton of as of late, so uh, where do you go? Then we got Elderbrook and George Fitzgerald with Glad I Found You. This is very much a Fred Again style track uh, with a kind of house beat and a seemingly real life vocal sample that's quite uplifting and supposed to be very uh, <laughs> encouraging. Um, it's a copycat that is kind of better than the original, I think, for the most part. Um, it's got a lot more life than I think a lot of Fred Again tracks do have. And so I'd honestly rather listen to this than a lot of Fred Again ones. Then we've got Overwork and Code Unit with Ascend. Uh, in terms of booming bass house, it's hard to think of anything um, that is as good as I think this right now uh, that Overwork's putting out. It's got that kind of cinematic tone and massive bass lines that just always hit different um, when Overwork does them, and I just want to hear more from him. Uh, he kind of had one real EP in 2023 that was a bit lackluster, and so I'm hoping this is a return to form for Overwork. 
Then we got UZ featuring Barnacle Boy with Venom, uh, Hybrid Trap that is very much engulfed in its low bass line. Uh, this thing comes in hard and just goes off for about three minutes straight. Um, it's not the most overly complex trap out there, but it's that strong emphasis on that bass line is a style that I don't think I hear a ton of nowadays um, from, from Hybrid Trap. Then we got Camouflage, Begging You Too is the name of the track. And uh, yeah, it starts with these kind of very grand 1900s, like a crackle mic sound uh, vocal sample that builds into this very well-refined house beat with lots of bounce to it. Um, there is this ever-present metallic symbol of sorts that keeps the song grooving. And um, I think it's one of Camouflage's most unique tracks to date. And I really enjoyed it. Then we got BT and Shingo Nakamura with Life Force. Uh, Trance is back on the menu, ladies and gents. Uh, BT and Shingo crush this new Trance single, and while it may not be the longest track, which is a rarity from these two, uh, this is some top-tier Trance that has some great mixing and a steadfast sound design. Then we've got Tokyo Machine with Heart. Uh, the Champo 2 compilation is out now, and this is the first kind of premiere single of or the first track of the, the compilation. And um, it's not as intense of an Electro House song that we normally get from uh, Tokyo Machine. But uh, yeah, it's a great addition to his discography and one that I think fits in really well. Um, I love the vocals as they bring in this kind of carefree, not so serious tone of the track, as well as providing an earworm of a, of a stanza with the, um, yeah, just the, the, the pre-drop uh, vocal sample there. I liked it quite a bit. Then we got Sleepnet and Lumen with Surrender from the 2 EP out now from Sleepnet. Uh, I think Noisia is going to live on well through Sleepnet. Sleepnet being one third of Noisia. Um, this is dark drum and bass with a very ethereal tone to it. Uh, the snare is snappy and the pun and the kick is punchy. Uh, and those vocal chops just give it like this very uh, eerie, angelic vibe. Uh, and one that I really, really enjoyed. Then we've got Feed Me with Road Trip Sleeper, a uh, French house track that definitely sounds like there's some Daft Punk sampling going on here, straight out of like a Discovery era from Daft Punk. I'm, I'm not sure there is for sure, but it sounds a lot like it. Um, Feed Me has been on a tear as of late, and this just might be one of his best tracks as of late that have come out in the last couple of weeks, um, which is saying something because he's, again, been on an absolute tear. And finally, moving into the standout category, uh, the single song that I thought was a standout this week, a cut above the rest, was indeed from the Mr. Bill Mechanomorphic LP that came out on Monster Cat. This is Mr. Bill, Copycat, and Def 3 with Bring It On. I love the album, and I think this track in particular was one of my favorites. The production is crunchy, dense, and surrounded by a rap vocal that just fits in perfectly. Uh, it's fairly short at two and a half minutes, but it utilizes every single second of it to perfection. So... Uh, yeah, that's what I thought of this week in EDM, and you guys let me know what you think of any and all songs in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.